Welcome back to Plasma Channel. You know, there's so much more to high voltage than meets the eye. I mean, there's kind of a reason I like it so much. So today, we're gonna have a little bit of fun and I'm gonna show you a bunch of sparks and arcs. It's gonna be a very visual episode. And I'm gonna talk about some of the factors that influence everything we love about sparks and arcs, like their shape, their color, and their stability. Let's start off with low power. Oh God. Wrong transform. Now, one question that I've got quite frequently is why are some sparks purple and others are blue and some are pink and some are white? What causes that? In open air, an arc's color is an indication of what temperature it's burning at. So what determines temperature? Primarily current. 5 milliamps produces a faint purple spark, while ramping it up to 30 milliamps produces a hotter, bright yellow arc. And at half an amp, you're staring into a bright white sun. Cool stuff, huh? Now you know about colors, so next up, shape. Since we know that current now influences how hot the arc is, we also know how buoyant it is, and therefore how violently the arc is trying to rise up. At 5 milliamps, the plasma doesn't have quite enough heat to form a solid conductive channel. At 10 milliamps, you do have enough heat to start forming a conductive plasma channel, and you start to also have that apex that we love so much. At 30 milliamps and 4000 degrees, you have a pronounced apex and a very strong plasma channel. And at 500, you have a 6000 degree arc that cyclically shoots skyward and extinguishes itself. Man, I love this stuff. So hopefully by now you're getting the idea that current strongly affects a lot of things about arcs. But now, let's talk about stability. Stability is how difficult it is to extinguish an arc. And the two main factors that I've found are, whew, go figure, current, and then also frequency. Using a source with low current, you'll notice virtually no ability to stretch an arc. Once the distance is greater than what the voltage can jump across, the arc breaks. Increasing the current makes the arc more stable. This is because the conductive plasma stream is thicker, hotter, and expands out with the electrode as you remove it. Lastly, I've found that higher frequency arcs are more stable and harder to extinguish. Let me give you an example. This is that same 30 milliamp supply. It runs at 60 hertz and is quite easy to extinguish. However, when you get upwards of 15 kilohertz, the plasma channel simply does not want to break. Okay, so we've talked about arcs, but we haven't talked about individual sparks yet, which is my favorite topic. And as you'd guess, current is the number one player for determining what a spark looks like. These sparks run at about one amp. Take note of how wide the plasma stream is. But this spark has about 10 amps in it. This spark is quantifiably thicker, and if you compare the two currents side by side, you'll see more current is more terrifying. Hopefully you learned something cool today, and if you did, share the video with others. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Check out our Facebook page, and feel free to browse our other videos. You stay classy.